Hmm. Hello. Hello. Hi. So, the thing about this game, besides the fact that it, it sucks, is that it starts out... It's one of those stupid games that, for whatever reason, starts out in, like, some stupid resolution. Just, like, some tiny windowed resolution. And then it, like, forces your entire computer into that resolution. So that breaks OBS. It's okay once you get to this screen, but if you start it... This is what this is probably what happened last time as well. It's just one of those dumbass games where someone was on heavy doobies when they decided, oh, we'll just make it so it starts out in 4.3 and you know it will just suck. It just breaks everything. So anyway. Um, we're back. And, um, we're on this screen. Hopefully it'll be okay. I can see myself. I can see the game. I can hear the game. I can hear myself pinning my fucking audio as well. There's spooky glitches going on on the screen. There we go. All right. Um, all right. Let's play the game. Thank you. Thank you all for your support. Thank you. Thank you for hanging in there. We'll, we'll, do, we'll get into it now. Yes. Hello, welcome, Job. You missed nothing. Continue. EMP devices can disable androids. Good to know. <clears throat> Jesus. All visitors must report to reception. Okay. All visitors must report to reception. Let's update our map. We just escaped the alien last time. Uh, and uh, we're now here. Oh, this is much better. I um, I increased the the FOV. Um, I I quit the game last time and had a a just a raucous fucking headache afterwards. And I assume, thanks to Sphirna's suggestion. It probably had something to do with the FOV being super tight. So, um... I blew it out, and it seems to be a little bit better for now. Um, yes, yeah, so you didn't miss much, Jub. You missed us escaping an alien. We just juked him real good, and uh, we made it out. Yeah, bad FOV will F with me. Hello, sir? Hello. My name's Ripley. Amanda Ripley. Fo, sir? Help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. Okay, Megatron. Oof. For your comfort and reassurance, our working Joe synthetics are designed to be instantly recognizable. Surveys have shown that consumers are often uncomfortable dealing with advanced human real androids. Seeks and working So we made ours ugly. So you always know exactly who you're dealing with. Be reassured. That's the Seeks and promise. I did. I found a blaster. I retrieved a blaster and can now blast. Cool hat. All right. Can we talk to the man here? Can we rewire the man? We're halfway to a, the Power Games achievement. Okay. We can... Excuse me. We can change the power... I mean, I guess we can do door access now. Network capacity is high. Oh, we don't have any available. My bad. Oh, fuck. Hit Q. Okay, we're gonna turn off the air purification of the camera feed. We're gonna get this going. Um, hopefully that has allowed us to access uh, the door where uh, Senior Robot is. Um, maybe. He doesn't seem to have noticed. Oh! I'm gonna take all of that. Am I just freezing to death here?
Great. Ooh. I can't deal with this level of corporate speak. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, we can hide in the little thing? Great. I love that. Uh, can we make anything? I think is my next question. Um, the other question I, I had is... How the fuck? Okay, yeah, here we go. Can we make any flares? Can we make any flashbangs? Can we make any medkits? Okay, we can make medkits. We're gonna make as many gosh darn medkits as we can. Uh, so far, I haven't really needed to use too many medkits. Um, but that's fine. Give me gun. Alright. Old average Joe is pretty useless. Oh, there's many of the average Joes. Always wringing your neck in your sleep. I mean, working for you. My hand, like, flopped up for a sec there. Okay, well, we need a lot of Ion Torch. Trader Joe's. We figured out how to charge you $3,000 for puffed vegetable chips. Okay, the I would rather these be life real. Their faces, literally horrifying. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. I wouldn't advise it. I don't like these guys. One little bit. <clears throat> okay, we can't get into the relay facility. We need a key card. Trader Joe's is pretty dope. I haven't actually been to a Trader Joe's in quite a while. Great. There's one of those. Um. Did, uh, did I not go in this room? No, I did go in that room. Why am I back here? What am I doing? Oh, that's the door I unlocked. I see. Okay. And I'm guessing these look like they are um, vents. Yeah. So we need. Maybe we're gonna get the ion torch coming up here. Because there seems to be a mini ion torch thing. Yeah, they were... So, yeah, Siegson was, like, losing... She will, Amanda mentioned it, but they were, like, losing the... The sort of robotics arms race, in a way. They were kind of not able to compete. And they're, they're, like, selling it as... Over the intercom, it feels like they're selling it as... We did this on purpose, but I think that they just weren't able to, like, hack it in the game. And so Siegson is, is kind of not doing so great right now. Hopefully this door doesn't close. Oh, great. Some kind of tracker. It's we been got, modified. We got one of these now. Fantastic. We are. Is there a problem? No, no, no problem. At sus deck. Good, now we know how to use that. Get an injector. Oh, look, there's like a built in ashtray here. That's pretty dope. Glue. There's a lot of these little pecky fellows around, aren't there? We'll read that terminal in just a sec. I just wanna, just wanna 
Just wanna make sure I'm kitting everything else here. I can't take any more ethanol. We are full on ethanol. Yeah, that's pretty much how it feels, Jub. We got... Every time I pick up a big item, I'm like, oh god. Door override. Hughes, I put in a manual lock on the door leading upstairs. I don't want any accidents, so we figure out what's going on here. Error. Our manifesto. First published in Ion Season, February 2115. We don't want to show you a new world, we want to discover it with you. Here at Siegson, every new technology, research project, and discovery is driven to find the real-world applications to help you. We hope you'll join us for the journey. Oh, Christ, okay. Uh, together tomorrow, or, wait, it says tomorrow together, number one up there, but down here it says together tomorrow. Siegson's journey into colonial space and official history by Sebastian Sieg, first printed in Ion Siegson. <clears throat> Our origins in space. 2034 changed everything. The advent of faster-than-light travel put Siegson, then known as Sieg and Sun, ah, on the path to success. The race into space uh, began in earnest, and under the steady hand of our founder, Josiah Sieg, our company was primed and ready for the years that followed. Sieg and Sun built the components that enabled ships to extend colonial space beyond the solar system. As history relates, Whalen Corp. was reluctant to share its FTL technologies with other corporations. Fortunately, Josiah Sieg was on hand to speculate, innovate, and produce. Without Sieg and Son, the skies would have looked very different indeed. Josiah is one of those names, isn't it? Alright. Please understand. Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to Sieg's and communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. Please understand, this is our best shot. Someone's got to reestablish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. Is that Alan Wake? Marie, I'm a writer. Oh, bloody hell yeah. Let's crank it. Oh. What do we got here? Hey, what do we got? Uh, lighting is active. Speaker system is not. Air purification. We'll leave them... Actually, we'll leave them active. We may have to deal with this later. We might have to do the speaker system as a snook. Great. What? Please tell me it's just Mr. Working Joe up here. Oh, great. They gave me, like, a, a thing that I can just, like, be scared looking at all the time. Fantastic. I'm so glad. Beep. Just what I needed. Something that will just constantly remind me that I'm not alone here. Is it just fucking you, mate? No, it's not. Is this a cat carrier? They gave me a handheld anxiety device. That's what this is. Human employee recreation. Let's pop them. Beep! Why isn't it beeping? Uh, oh! Is this... What passes for recreation among your misbegotten kind? Ah, the sterilizer, yes. Mmm, <laughs> let's go down to the sterilizer for some recreation, guys. This will be great. Ah, handy. What a mighty mighty man, I'm young and I'm in my pride. What is this face? He's he's like, oh, oh, that's a good cigarette. <laughs> Who is this dude? 
Oh, that's a good cigarette. He's really enjoying look at it. He's just really enjoying that cigarette. Good good for him, man. Who knows what they put in him in the future? Hot food. Procreation table, wow. Oh, this is like it's like a hollow deck, maybe? Okay, so here's the problem, yeah. We were getting beeps earlier. Oh, turn that off. We were getting like hella beeps a minute ago. Like quiet beeps, but beeps nonetheless. Now we're not getting any beeps. So unless there's like a working Joe wandering around up here. I don't know. Sterilization room is quite windy. I guess some people would enjoy sterilizations here. Now. I suppose that's fair. Oh, all the cigarettes are gone. Oh, Mork, you didn't really miss too much. We got the motion tracker. We can now hear beeps and be constantly on edge. Um, we heard about uh, working Joes. We met a working a couple of working Joes, and they were okay, but um, very unnerving. Mm -mm. And, um... Okay. Oh, hey, wait, we've got some new, uh, schematics here. We can make a couple noisemakers. Oops. Let's make a couple of noise makers. We did get the tracker this time. Yeah. Oh wait, we can't. We need razors. But we can collect this charge pack, at least. Oh. Luggage. Alright, we got all of it. Fantastical. Look at these guys! Fuck! Give me the alien any day, at least I can, like, understand an organic, horrible predator. Oh. Okay. Okay, there's different versions of this, that's interesting to know. We're not always going to be matching. Uh, not always going to be matching stuff, it seems. Okay, well. No birds. Hey, no birds. Um. Did we? Okay, hold up. Okay, we can't go this way, so we do have- we gotta sneak through. Got it. Roger that. Solid copy. Hey man, no boards. No boards. Great. Let me pass. Don't you recognize me? Listen to me. Hughes. We've got to reestablish long-range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back. I'm warning you. Tut, tut. Tut, tut. Oh, you better keep shooting, to Oh, Hughes, you're fucking it up. Let him have it. Bro. Bro, no. Oh my god, he got Michael Myers. Good day. Good day. Great. 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 Things on the station are going great. Okay. So here's the new problem. I have to hide from robots, as well as aliens.
That's probably like some sort of alien or robot calling device that will call on a robot to murder me if it sees me. Kind of aggressive? I mean, I guess. Hold it. Hold it! Hopefully no one comes back behind me here. <clears throat> Your log message. Sensitive corporate information has been automatically detected in a Sevasta link message recently sent from this terminal. This event has been logged by Apollo on behalf of Siegson. If you have any further questions, please talk to your line manager, your, dear, your nearest synthetic Siegson representative. Ooh. I don't know about that. Riggs, uh, this is Apollo's eye. Riggs, are you still working down on in Seeks and Communications? Remember that trouble you got into last year? The trouble I helped you out of? Well, it's time to repay the favor. One of my colleagues has been looking into some sort of import import documents and found a few th problems. He's new, so he doesn't understand how we do things on Sevastopol. And he's threatening to go to Waits about it. This could hurt us all, so I need you to keep an eye on him. If anything interesting comes up, Apollo has cameras everywhere. He just needs someone uh, to tell it where... It just needs someone to tell it where to point to. His name is Daniel Halden. Lives in Josiah Sig Executive Apartments 651. If this goes well, I might have some more work for you. We could clean up here. Ransom. Uh-oh. Folder corrupted. Utility. Nothing. Alright, well. I see a robot. I see two robots. the ID tags, bro. Bro. Oh. 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 Okay. Alright. He looked, but he didn't look. You know? He done fucked it up. Alright. Security camera is offline. Let us boots. No. No, no, no. Come on. No, no, no. No, no. What? Oh, God. Ah. Take me to comms control. Police! Why are uh, things so slow? All elevators slow. Cup of Joe's. Have you got the Cup of Joe's smile? Central Communications Hub. Seeks and employees only. Okay, we do got a little bit of. Uh oh. Oh no. There goes our ride. Great.
This has no access, but I am accessing it. So. Okay. We need all that. Uh, don't we need... Hold on. Don't we need... Um, didn't we need some of these... Okay, we're full on flashbangs. I think we can now... Craft these. A couple of these. Good. Got 11 rounds for the old revolver. Okay, let's check out what this is. Oh, we gotta hack him. Uh, bingo! Administrative rights. Baby. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Torrens Hale. This is commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Uh, Clair. Registration number MSV7760 calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a Wayland Utani bond. This is exactly what we heard earlier. Um, you're holding the Stromo flight, flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer passengers port side over. That was what happened before we all crashed. Oh, we can just listen to it. Mm. She's Bowman. I just realized that's the, whose voice that is. That's why it sounded familiar. Bowman? <clears throat> Nomad, this is Matchwood. Alright, um... Let us go Q and down... Okay, not permitted, not permitted. Torn's damage. Uh, we heard that just now. This is Waits, Colonial Marshal oh, this is the message we couldn't hear. We have a serious situation here. Non-local comms are down, and we need you to send out an emergency message. Do you read me? Repeat, our ranged communications are down, and we need help. Stand off and send help. So that's um, the message he sent to us that was all garbled. We couldn't understand. All right. Fantastic. Well, that's just ducky. All right. I say that I, I go downstairs and do a quick save now that we've built a bunch of items and collected some loot. Um, and then we'll will make some ventures, because I assume at some point I'm going to get busted by one of these robots, and they're going to make life painful for me. Robot violence. Uh, external communications seems like the way to go. Uh, we'll take a little peek up here, though. Might as well. There, there was a man walking. A ro a robotman. Well, I'm holding the motion. What's that mean? A couple of working Joes down there. I say we go upstairs. This looks like probably going to be our our final objective because I assume we're going to have to do a little bit of hiding from the Joes. Because duh, can't just snook around all the way in the back here the whole time.
What's upstairs? And down towards external communications. There's probably another one up there, I'm just guessing. Based on video games. I do see a green computer here, which seems to be... Okay, we can hide in the vent there. I'm gonna guess that whenever I whip this out, it's gonna make those gentlemen down there very un unhappy. So let's take a look. Okay, we can turn the camera feed off, and that might be a good idea. I say why not. Um, kind of curious as if there is uh, there's oh, well, it doesn't really matter. External communications disabled by order of Apollo. Facility offline. All outgoing communications halted. Oh, that's just great. Internal communications open on limited channels. Gotta be someone in the station I can contact. I hate the way he does the ladder. Oh, actually, for a sec here. We can just have a little bit of a hide and check. Okay, so we've got to get back to find an alternate communications terminal. So we do actually have to pass by these, these working fellers in uh, some capacity. Um, I so the thing about the game I don't quite get and will probably lead to some dying uh, until I figure it out and I will figure it out so don't worry but we'll be um, like using distraction stuff rather than just sneaking so there will be some trial and error in that kind of a realm. Because I'm not sure quite what distractions I should make, or how to make them. Or when, or where or why. So we do know we can go down through here. This might be a good starting point. I think we just barely got away with that shit. Oh. Someone dropped a battery down here. Someone dropped a battery down here. Seems to... I don't like the way that they say that. Not that strange. The music is so tense all the time that I don't know uh, when to be actually tense, <laughs> which I'm sure is inten intentional. Yes, thank you. You got you got it. I forget. Is it Q? Control. Yes, control. Okay. 
we snuck past a, a robot, and we've we've come here where uh, there's literally nothing we can do. Great, cool. All right, great. That's fantastic. I um, at this point, I'm I'm a little bit, again, as I said previously, w like rooting for the xenomorph to like come and kill these bastards for me. Where are you going? <laughs> Just getting her squats in, trying to keep an eye on this bastard. All the ID tags I can feel that I'm missing and just feel it, you know. Oh. Just get to type in there, bud. Just do a little typey type. Okay. He's gonna see me if I make a break for it there. But when he turns his back, for just a second, looking down this other corridor of computers, I can make my break. Listen to those strings. <laughs> We've got almost two cylinders of revolver ammo, which is nice. All right, good. Hit me up with the theme of Tara, please. Do, 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 do. You can... Ah. 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 C-3PO, I'm coming. 3PO? Creepio! Would you shut up and listen to me? It's a little bit uh, blasted up in here. Oh look, you can hail people here. It is, this is like Star Trek up in here. We can go um, have put someone on the uh, picture picture, or whatever they call it. What do they call it? The view screen in Star Trek. I see a little bit of a seam there. It's a bit rough. All right, well. I'm coming to talk to you, buddy. I just have to search every nook and cranny before I go that way. Where are you? Oh wait, that was Samuel's. Wait, where was it? Um. 
Oh, okay. It's further out. I'm gonna guess that I can't do this. I cannot. Whoops. I did hear a, a working Joe. Swan, you boy. Who's he down here? Hello? Anyone? Take a look at our map here in a moment. For now. Uh, it looks like that one room may have just been an um, a storeroom or something, so we'll go back and check that. I thought it looked more to me like the way through, but I, apparently no. There could also just be a, um, a big Joe up in there, ready to bust us up. They... Um... Maybe above me? Or below me? Oh, okay, this is that. Okay, so this was the same way through. Because that's the door we were at previously. I'd like to turn the ra- Oh. Alright, mate. No? Alright. Oh shit, of course! I should have known. It did look fresh. It looked too fresh. Cover that up with some music. He's still juicy. Okay, we can turn the lighting off. I wonder if that doesn't... That probably doesn't help me, but probably doesn't hurt them. I heard him coming. I think I'm just dead. Ooh. I don't know if I can win this. I heard him coming. I should have what I should have done was hide. Combination of devices. I should have just hit. Okay, now though we've lost one absolute fuckload of uh, progress, so. Good news is we don't have to go to the, um, the red eyes are spooky. Well, we just back to where we saved last, which is quite a ways back. It's not really a lot. It seems like a lot because you just have to, like, sort of sneak through everywhere. The red eyes are spooky, yeah. Ugh. Thank you for the hydrate and the stretch. Don't play the music. Um, I think all we have to do is... I can't remember if I saved after going up here, though. This is sort of the main problem. Okay, I did. I checked that out. I checked that computer out because it's red now. So, I did save everything, and then, um, went, like, right out to, like, get past these guys. But the good news is we don't have to really go anywhere. We didn't, like, really lose too much. I don't... I don't quite know what the, um... combination of devices we can use to get these fools is unless it just means you don't defeat them you just uh, evade them there he is oh he actually goes back there 
No, you see nothing or hear nothing. Siegson, tomorrow. To get oh, don't look over at me, you piece of garbage. You tin can. So maybe their eyes are all red now because of being uh, bad lads. Also, I feel like I've got this giant wrench thing. I should have used that on them instead of like trying to punch them down. They don't seem like guys that you can just punch down. Now, I ain't no export, but... Okay, he's done. We didn't find anything down there. We didn't really find anything uh, in here, either, to be fully honest with you. Oh, so there is a... He's just like, how did I miss this dude? <laughs> I was like, just like dancing around up here the whole damn time. We did get, um, we did get a, um, an achievement for bashing the, uh, man here on the floor. Oh, I see. He was there. So he may have just seen me. I may still be slightly screwed here. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Don't turn around. All right. The thing about the revolver... is that, yes, you are probably correct. Alright, we want the alarm system off. We want the camera feed off. What is lighting off to? No think. I kind of want to beat this dude again, but also... Oh, oh what?! <laughs> I was nowhere near you, you piece of shit. Fuck off. Why don't you put your head back in that microwave? That is some bullshit. I was miles away. I, maybe you just have to... That's just part of the that room. You just have to fight that dude. Or, well, not fight, but... Blast this blicking block off. So they're sort of luring me into this, like, false sense of security, I'm guessing.
Perhaps that's not even the right way to say it. But like, it's been very, um, not xenomorphy for a minute now. Which I assume means they're about to spring that shit on me. Okay, we can't really make anything else, which is fine. Let's talk to the terminal. Nope, nope. Receipt of transmission. Uh, Sevastopol, this is Waylon Yutani, Executive Administrator Nina Taylor. Oh, that's Nina. Confirming receipt of your transmission. I am a member of the team assigned to collect the Nostromo Spike Recorder. The black box in your possession is of primary importance to Waylon Yutani. Under existing corporate agreements, we should remind you that you must not attempt to read its contents nor disclose its presence to any third parties. We will be with you soon. A private marshal for Mar a private message for Marshal Waits will follow. Oh, I could have just. We've got to listen to this voice acting. The team assigned to collect the Nostromo flight recorder. The black box in your possession is of primary importance to Wayland Primary. Yutani. Under existing corporate agreements, we should remind you that you must not attempt to read its contents, nor disclose its presence to any third parties. We'll be with you soon. A private message from Marshal Waits will follow. Marshal Waits, I've had it up to here with your shit. All right, well, we've got nothing really on this except for the Nina transmission, which I guess is useful. Good to know. Now, I would imagine that there would be... I like the um, old computer covers, very uh, retro. What can we do here? What can we do, we? Door access sounds good. Camera feed, we want that off. Air purification? That's good. We want door access on for sure, though. Oh, look, that did actually. That did actually work. I feel like that's the first time I've actually done something with those that sort of works. Okay, well, I feel like we want to check this other room. I feel like this is a progress area here. So let's check this other room where our friend Joseph was. I also hear a save point in here, which is kind of the main reason. What's that? Oh. Bonding agent. Agent. James Bonding agent. Okay, did he come over here to do that? Okay, here. What? Huh? Left and right to balance the values, but when they were at 5757, that wasn't... Oh, balance with top and bottom. Right, 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 right. My bad. Gotcha! Press matching move keys when circuit is active. Okay. Damn it. Whew. Hacking is tough, you guys. These are obviously tutorial ones. Samuels! You're alive! It's Ripley! Ripley! Taylor, it's Ripley. We were getting oh. worried. We I thought... made it! Nina's alive too. Uh, we're at the transit station now. It's right by medical. Hmm. Okay. Samuels, listen to me. It's not safe here. Don't Seekson's got this place yell, locked Amanda. Their goddamn androids are Please. killing people. That's Don't yell. Yeah. Contrary to primary synthetic programming. I it, would Samuels. know. I guess Seekson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature. It's a life form. A, an unknown type. 
Some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make... Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. Debris. How bad? Real bad. I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injuries. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact the Torrens peace. We're on our own. Shit. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I don't know. Debris is kind of a jerk. Don't send a transit car to me. Oh, that ain't good. Shit. Did I want to do that? Gentlemen, I will be leaving now. Please have a nice time in there. Oh, we just achieved she's in the vents. All right, what are we doing now? <laughs> okay, we've just got to get out. Okay, so... Uh, uh, maybe we've now trapped some fellas up in the room. And, uh... I don't know if that's gonna lock him in, but I, I like the feeling that I did it. It doesn't seem to have actually done anything that time. Debris, no! Pulse your white lights. I don't want to give away your position. GNR interrupt engaged. Stand by. Oh, they just fucked off again? Oh! We wanna grab the map. Are you just gonna stand there, mate? Okay, good. Okay, so we've got to just kind of get out the way we came, yeah? Yeah. Ugh. this at all. Nine, 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 nine. No, no, no. Not strange. Perfectly normal, perfectly healthy. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, that's right. You've got other concerns, homeboy. You gotta worry about charging your batteries and stuff, nerd. I think Aline is okay? Or is he, like, looking at me? 
Or am I about to, like, get... No, he was looking at me. I'm running! Let me run! Let me be free! Ripley. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Is he gonna like outsmart me? Or is he too dumb for that? Nope, he's too too smart. <laughs> I'm dead. Flashlight buttons. GNR These gentlemen, can they use the vents? Guess we'll find out, won't we? Looks as though they're giving up. What is this? Hold on, I just got an achievement. Not a scratch. What did I get an achievement for? Oh, escape from android combat without taking damage. Wow. Okay, there is one... How inconsiderate. Yeah, they are pretty goofy, aren't they? I thought I did. Apparently I didn't. Oh, speaking of taking damage, why don't we uh, bust up one of these med kits I've got sitting around? I think you might be right, Serna. Bastard. Thank you. 
Yeah, you just keep looking that way, Buster. Since we, man, since we apparently, oh, I was going to say, since we lured everyone out front, let's check it out, but um, we didn't lure everyone out front, turns out. So, uh, we gon' bounce. So they were like, hey, the, you know how the robot is like a slasher villain in space? What if we also put like robot Michael Myers up there as well? Great. It's just what I always wanted. Okay, so we did it. We did well. Uh, we only did die once. Um, Samuels has sent us a car. So we, we've just got to make our escape. And then, um... sound was definitely not uh, one of the android fellas because uh, there ain't no android fella on the other side of the door there um Vents were supposed to be my safe haven. Hmm. You've missed no screaming. You've missed a couple of spooks. I mean, also, there's very clearly something in the vents with us. I mean... You're not, you're not fooling anyone with that. 
You're not fooling anyone with the drool in the uh, the vent <laughs> trick, Buster. Okay, well, the android berry did clearly did see me. Yeah, I'm just actually sitting back, Mork. And um, drinking a nice uh, mug of hot cocoa. Playing like uh, specific sound clips and stuff to make it seem as though. Why do you gotta open it that way, Rips? Okay. I need to I need to map this. So, um Right. Oh, okay. So that's where the robots were. I had to sneak up there's a computer there. There's a guy up here. Or was. Oh god, fucking dumb. Oh, he's in there now. Alright, we're just gonna leave. There's probably, like, some kind of, um... There's an alien in the vents. La 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 la. I was gonna say there's probably some sort of uh, pickup in there, but we're we're just gonna skip it. Bruh. You gotta stop. I mean, at this point, we could go check it. What'd you see, Mort? Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, they're really banging around. He's really causing a lot of racket. Mm-hmm. Well, it does always sort of beep like that. Um... Hmm. 
I'm not... Hundo P sure how to get around this one. Unless I missed this uh, ion torch somewhere, which is possible. So, there's one room I haven't checked at all yet. Uh, and it is on this floor. I did not go in here. And it's like sort of an overseer admin room. I went in here, I got this thing. There was an android here, and there was one in here, and there's one standing in this hall now. Or, sorry, this hall. Um, this is also where the alien was last. I, I don't know. I guess we could go take a look. We did just save too, not too long ago, so we can kind of see what occurs trying it out. I, I mean, why not, you know? He's still chilling around in the vents. I have a feeling we're kind of going to overstay our welcome here. some kind of way. Okay, this gentleman is still here. I guess we can take a look. Okay. I personally don't see anything in there. Maybe some components and stuff, but ain't worth it. Oh, that guy's actually looking through the door. Nothing that looked like an ion torch. And the other thing is just a corridor there, so I'm not too I'm not too perturbed about it. We might have been able to sneak around behind him, but I didn't even see an ID tag in there, so of all the things to sort of risk my neck for, I don't really see anything in there. And if we got to go back, boy howdy, we got to go back. I may just have to, like, try and top this fella, or, like, EMP him or something, I suppose. In order to make my escape. Um, not really any need to save currently. Because, again, we haven't done anything. It is... It is difficult to not do that, but I feel like I have made my peace with seeing everything in there. Okay. Let's sneak up upon this fella. Oh, he does move. Oh. I don't know if anyone saw the drool there. In that vent. But the drool was in the vent. Just... Let's keep an eye on this guy. You, you will join us for the journey. Seek 
Portable quality. Push the two together and voila, I know. Mate, you did not fucking hear me, bro. I'm gonna be looking at, at this clown. I'm gonna get aliened in the butt. So I'm looking in this room I wasn't in previous previously. Oh, I wasn't in that other room previously either. Shit. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so there's this whole other thing here. Is there... Someone's daughter has been taken. By some sort of alien life form, I'm assuming. Unless it was a robot. I mean, robots do seem to be grabbing people pretty often in this. Uh, this is kind of why I came down here. Hearing rattlesnake noises, which means alien. Call log AM. Call A. I'm not gonna read that number out. What's going on up there? You've been, we've been, or I've been waiting for a call, and Apollo says, "Please stand by. Your call has been re being rerouted." Hello, my working Joe is acting strangely. It won't listen to anything I say. He's just rerouting everyone's calls. I need help. I'm trapped in my apartment. There's an android outside. So he's just, just ignoring everyone's calls. Put me through to Marshall's office. It's an emergency. Someone's robbing my store. Uh, he's gone. It it kill, killed him. I think it's still here. So the uh, the alien or something is killing everyone. Error. Error. Oh. Okay, we've got power games, because we've rewired a lot of stuff. Let's take a look and see. We might as well leave everything... Let's turn the lighting off. And the air purification off.
Um, okay. So we've got... This, like, internal room here, which will probably have something good in it. We've got... Like a... A vent over here? I mean, I guess we can just go... Go into the vents and see what's in there. I mean... Could be an alien. It, eh, eh, voila, eh, voila. Oh, okay, so we can remove these from the inside as well. Let's go do the same down here as well. You know, I would think the alien, it does have very hum human-like hands. I would think the alien could probably work a handle, but maybe they are just too dumb. Though they don't seem very dumb. Dumb does not seem like a, a, a thing I would use to describe the xenomorph. At least the one in the original Alien. The other ones in in Aliens are less. I don't want to do this. I was slightly heard there. Okay, I think we can open this door here now as well. And this will give us another... Another option. Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait, this is what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Well, good to know. I am a bit worried that there's a gentleman down here. But he seems to have FRO'd. Good. Uh, we're going to take the... Shoot. What are we going to do, actually? So we've, we've opened a ladder here. We can go through here. This seems to be not a bad idea, because there is an android in this hallway here. So it might be a good idea. It would be nice to go into this room and check out what new stuff we've unlocked, but it would be better to know where old working class hero is before we uh, trip the light fantastic. Apparently we're hearing a lot of um, unhappy gentlemen and women um, having many, many problems with being eaten or otherwise incapacitated by what I assume are aliens. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So we may have to dip past the one here to get past the one there. So hopefully this guy will take a trip back to the left. And um, we can sneak right. And hopefully I think we can get past him if we do that. Um, doesn't really tell me. Okay, he's gone left. This looks like the Millennium Falcon. Shit fuck. Maybe we do have to wait for him to come back to the window, and we just have to go around behind him, because he would... I think we just caught him when he was looking this direction. Fuck. Oh, I could have just come this way. I'm having a heart attack at all times. Look who's there. It's your boy. He's not very subtle, is he? Nothing that's gonna break anything. Beep. Oh, Dallas. An initial report from the return leg of our Thetis voyage. Uh, when we get back home, I want a meeting with a shipping coordinator. My usual science officer has been replaced. No reason given. The new guy is more than capable, I'm sure, but only getting two days notice for this kind of thing is crazy. I'd just like an explanation. <clears throat> All right. Well, we get a little bit of Dallas there. Can we make anything? Looks like we can make an EMP and a med kit. Holy James. All right, well, an EMP is good. Uh, they were they used to be um, yellow, Mal, and then I think they are all red now. It could be. It could very well be. They do seem to, um, like, understand when, like, the possibility for evil is there. And, um, 
Because it does seem more often than not robots are programmed to have red eyes when they're evil, doesn't it? Ah, shit. Can you fucking be quiet up there, dude? Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, we need to let that guy move down. <laughs> so they, they very deliberately programmed that voice line in, didn't they? That there's someone behind you? Because that's always very, very clear when they're saying it. There's someone behind you. They just done that one to screw with me. Oh! Good place to look up. We're, we're collecting a few ID tags. Let's take a look and see if this bastard's over here still. Okay, he's gone. No, he's still there. Well, fair enough, sir. You're right. I probably shouldn't have turned off the air purifier, but maybe it does make me harder to see. Okay, this guy doesn't move, turns out. I believe that there's an, al uh, an alien, a robot in there, so... So we actually do have access to this door here. Oh, did I? M ah, fuck! I missed this whole area. Son of a biscuit! Ah, I don't even remember that junction in the vent. Ah, all right. Well, we do have to go back. There we go. I am still exploring every nook and cranny, true to form. Well, air purification being off really does make things hard to see, doesn't it? Now, we did learn that we have to come this way. We can't go the other way. Is there... Okay, we must have cleared that out. Actually... Fuck. so itchy suddenly.
I have not used the gun yet. Oh, bye, Sphina. I have not used the gun yet, no. If you find this facility in a state that isn't to your liking, please let us know. It's a good thought, Mork. I should just try that. They did- they wrote this sideways, look at that. Terrible. That's what I'm figuring now. I'm okay with that. May just have to shoot me an alien. Okay, we're back through here, finally. Now there should be some kind of junction. Wait, what? Oh, fuck. Oh, I can't even get in there. Oh, all this waste. Ah, I thought this was this one. Ah, shit. All right, well, back out. I can't get in. It doesn't look like I can get into any of those sides without the, um, the cutter anyway. Shit. So, okay, so this is, this needs to have a cutter, and this needs to have a cutter. So there's fucking no way right now. God damn it, what a bitch. All right. All right, well, we were out, budge. So we gotta wait for this guy to come back this way again. Okay, he is moving. We'll just keep an eye on him. Once he starts going far to the right, I think we'll be safe. Boo, 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 boo. Heightened hazard containment levels today. Why not ask me about Sevastopol safety protocols? Yeah, we are the fuck out of here. Old Drooly's up there, drooling. This is Whoops. Captain Dallas logging an initial report for the did that one. Shipping coordinator. My usual science officer has been replaced. 
No reason given. The new guy is more than capable, I'm sure, but only getting two days' notice for this kind of thing is crazy. Crazy? I'd just like an explanation. We'll be ready for our load when we get the call. Dallas, the Stromo captain, signing off. Right. So unless we can like break this lock, which we cannot, we um. I think we got nowhere to go. Door access is on. Okay. Oh, that's the door behind me. Well, that's open. Have I been in there? Apparently we turned on the air purifier over there again. Yikes. I think I was in here right off the top. Yeah, I was. All right, well, we're uh, heading um, on the transport car to old Samuels, I suppose. Oh, loading screen. Great. Right. Great. Is he just here? Okay, so uh, we've got to take the transit terminal. Okay, so we've got to get out of here. And back to transit, which is just across the floor from where I am now. But I assume... I don't know. I assume our f old friend the big bastard is around somewhere. Mostly what I would like is the ability to get to save point down here. So hopefully we can do that. like that sound. Uh, okay, so Simed. the fuck out of here. You shouldn't be there. This is the achievement I just received. Progress is being made, everyone.
this door? No. Oh, it is this door. Oh! Samuels? Station Rip serving the San Taylor. Cristobal Medical Facility and Rip Taylor? Oh, she doesn't look so hot. Ripley? Is that Ripley? Uh, alright. It's me. Try and rest, Taylor. How is she? She needs treatment. Medical's nearby, but I didn't want to leave her. I'll go and investigate. See what I can find. All I'll right. stay with her. Gotta pack that I'll wound. To repair the radio booster. What if this creature shows up? Don't take pressure off. Hide. Unauthorized security breach detected. Great. All transit shut down by order of Apollo. There's little time to waste, Ripley. Yeah, no kidding. Look at Jesus. Eliminate lice before it spreads. Smile with confidence. Get your dental checks done. Give her this booze. Holy shit. Stay with me, Taylor. Ripley's finding help. Trust noon. Oh. Yeah, I have a ton of med kits. Space lice sound terrible, though, don't they? I mean, let's be real. Do you like if you could choose between if you had to have lice, right? Just give me the regular. Don't give me the space lice. You always know, working Joe. Okay, let's take a look and see. So we can't really go anywhere else. Uh, we've got to get to the medical facility, which I'm guessing is behind us. Let's take a look up here. This could be like a little bit of a... Nifty doodad. Help. Keep out. Is that a airlock? I'm guessing... Well, I shouldn't say I'm guessing. I'm guessing though it will be... A... Well, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. Fuck it. I, I'm guessing it'll be a little bit before we see... Um, our friend, the alien. Because we did just, like, move far across the, um, tower. So I'm guessing it'll take a minute to get back up to us. Rip Sevastopol. Right, yeah. Space Lice might give you superpowers. Oh. I mean, I guess that's fair. That could be something to do. So, working Joe. Strangers will be shot. Spooky working Joe. Oh, there's some fel folks in there. They're dead. Oh, interesting. Oh. Oh. Locked. Hello? Fifteen of thirty. Hold on, I just got a an a part of an achievement. I would detect thirty targets on the motion tracker. Makes sense. I think those guys may be bad fellas. They didn't seem to look to um a nourish and niblet flight snacks. Ooh. Man, I could go for a nourish and niblet right about now, y'all. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. I could nur Uh oh. Oh, actually it's alright. Hey, I mean if you don't Oh yeah. I need a doctor. Hello? I, I need a I can't hear you. Hang on. Hello? Yeah, I'll, I'll open the for you. This is a trap. 
I'm gonna get rolled for my juicy fruit. I just know it. This person is gonna beat me and take all my juicy fruit gum. Yeah, the alien's just like sitting there. Just like looks awkwardly up at me. Okay. Private room rehabilitation. Oh, psychotropics. Interesting. Ward, not ward. The door. The down. Morgue. Use the vent. I will use the vent. Yeah. So you know monthly. I just come up the vent. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. We're in kind of one of the... Um, where, where things are a little bit quiet. Where they just are, like, ramping the tension. Oh, I thought that might have been a map. I miss... You know who I miss? I miss Axel. I think Axel was the only friend I had in this game. They always do that anyway, dude. Brain juice? Mm. I've got to restore power to get to anywhere, it seems, except for where it wants me to go. So we'll just continue flouting that entirely. Nice to know that... Oh, there was a map here. The maps are so difficult to see. I mean, once you know, but like you can just look over them very easily. Right. Right. This is, I swear that this symbol was on Star Wars doors, that little checkerboard thing. Feels very similar, or familiar at least. Oh, there's a save point. Bloody hell. I'm Coleman. Ripley, I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. My friend needs Dr. Help. Coleman? Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. Of course. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I mean, you look okay. Help, you need mine. What's wrong with him? You find the passcode for the service elevator, and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? He looks fine. Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley? Morley's office is your best bet. <laughs> What's wrong with this fucking dude? Besides being lazy, apparently? Someone punched up the vending machine. Probably didn't you. They just... I, it's, the other thing about this is I always wonder, like... Are they just putting hidey boxes in all the rooms? Just in... Just like to make you think that's a thing that you'll have to do more often? You know what I mean? Yeah, the Wampa sticker. Well, the Wampa sticker it was like a, I think a yellow, yellow sticker? Yellow? But it is, it's the same kind of thought. For sure. Oh, wait, is this a, I don't see the screen light here. Oh, shit. Dope. It is dollar, yeah. Okay, so we can take the vent here to the assessment room. Let's do that. Oh, 
Oh my god. Who is this? Oh, does it, Mal? Okay, maybe that's what it is then. I thought it was, um, I thought it had something else. Well, that's probably sexual hygiene in deep space. Alright, I like little blue bouncing man. He's pretty cool. Never sleep pills. That seems great. Uh, was this the way we were supposed to go? What do we got here? Oh, this is just gonna take me around to the other door. I didn't see this. Can we... Let's see if we can make anything up here, by the way. Not really. Alright. Or are we just like... Okay, no, we've got a lever. Uh, hold R and B and S. Okay. So we've got a new... A new, um, route there, which is handy. That must be it now. That must be what I was thinking of. Thank you for finding that out. I thought it had something else on it, but I guess... Who knows? Who knows what I'm thinking of? Okay, I'm guessing this will take us to Morley's office. Yeah. Oh, we do have another Ventaru. Let's work together. Mutual benefit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mutual benefit. Yeah, I bet. Bet most people are long gone, Holman. Holman. Great. Who's banging around in the sedation ward? No, no, wrong way. Is it? Oh. You are sitting by a river. Ooh. Next to a sturdy bridge. Birds fly above. Imagine your troubles wrapped up tragic, in a package floating cases. on that river. Far you from the rhythms of earth, sunrise, sunset, the mind has a tendency to wander. Tragic cases. But Morley wasted far too much time on cuddling. Trying to relax here, bro. None of us should. Trying to imagine my peaceful river. I don't need your personal grievances. I'm trying to have a relaxing, calm moment here. For once in my life. Alright, I kind of want to go down the sedation ward. Oh, we got those alien light effects. Because we want the map. Might not think there. Okay, what do we got in the rewire? What do we got? Yo, what do we got? Camera feed, off. Sprinkler system, off. Lighting, on. on. Okay, I guess we turn the light on. Can't pick up the flare. Oh, someone's playing chess. I was kind of ex... 
while the crew slept by S. Stevenson. I guess the light's off now again. Okay. Kind of figuring there'd be like an ID tag or, or something down here. But I guess I'm just literally wasting my whole time. Great. But we do... I mean, you do gotta, t like, stop for a second and, like, appreciate how great the environments look. I mean, like, these numbers on the floor and these panels and everything. It's all very good. It's all very nice. Alright, well, well, we got whatever we can get down there. That was the re oh, I guess there's a rewire panel, which is pretty useful. Is this going to play again for me? There is a thick, warm spacesuit in front of you. Ooh. You put it on. You are separate from the world. Ah. You hear the slow, reliable sound of your own breath. Troubles cannot break through. Hmm. You are alone, but you are safe. How do you feel? Man, I feel pretty good after that. I'm not going to lie. That does sound pretty nice. Oh man, I gotta come back to these rooms when I'm feeling the, the troubles of the alien. It's just like all up in my business. Let's come down there and just have a nice little relax, you know? Good lord. Uh, can you just like listen to these, like all of this? I wish there was a voice audio setting. That's really creepy, whatever that is. So he's hooked on the, the sauce. It seems. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. So we, we kind of took a bit of a detour here. Oh, there was a save, wasn't there? Might as well. Oh, that's handy. Well, it looks like we need a passcode for that, so we'll just continue on. Uh, and then we just, uh, we went through, okay, so we go down and then we go into here, okay. That's right. I thought that would be it, but apparently it's not. 
And maybe this is it? Is this where our guy is? Yeah, kind of. Kind of in that direction. Okay, we can hack the door. Not bad. You're there. That's Morty's office. The postcode oh. should be in there somewhere. A skeleton popped out. Vehicles of yesteryear. We're still looking at like 50s cars. Oh, there's some scraps here though. Can't pick them up. Poker chips. And hide in there. Can't use that. Calendar with like a nail gun on it. Great. Right. What do we got? Personal. Low on meds. Dr. Lingard, we need more supplies of mood stimulants up here. We're getting really low, and it doesn't help that Coleman seems to be handing them out like candy. Logs show he's been to the dispensary 16 times this week. We need to start rationing medication. Sevastopol's people are only going to need these more and more the closer we get to shutdown. Can you talk to Coleman? Find out where these prescriptions are going? Okay, so Coleman is just, like, blasted on the sauce, basically. Hospital quarantine for I senior... The passcode. <laughs> Look, we'll need the physical key card too. Morley always kept it up. Oh, great. He's the dead one, I'm sure. Senior management only. San Cristobal Medical Facility Morley. Quarantine. Medical Facility Quarantine Breach Detected. Great. Great. You focus on finding that key card. Uh, Universe 1702. Quarantine beaches every 15 minutes. Trouble population for public order worse. The right to bear arms followed us into colonial space. Alone, vulnerable, and light years away from law enforcement. Who could deny our voyagers a way to defend themselves, their ships, and their families? Flip side of this argument is fast with gun crime is rampant. Rampant. Uh, endless endlessly turning circles and uh, neglected corner of space as people are downbeat and desolate. Or, or, sorry, disconsolate. Uh, those who could afford to leave did so years ago, abandoning friends and neighbors among empty stores, creaking systems, and forgotten dreams of deep space economic boom. So as well as people feel deceived, tempted here by corporations that refused to recognize the deep space bubble was about to burst. They are angry, desperate, and increasingly divided. Recent colonial martial clampdowns on the black market have increased resentment. Every day it feels as if the station was edged a little closer to freefall. Error. Okay, nothing there. That was 1702, yeah? I don't know if we actually have to enter them, or if we just know them. 1702, yeah. Like the year. Uh, what if he's in here? He's not in there. Is this Morley? Morley? Uh, okay, so he's in this other door now. Which is apparently open. Which one? Okay, we gotta go. Wait, what? Item tool weapon. Ah, shit. So there's an item tool or weapon in there that we can't get to. Oh, man. Well. So, um, well, the alien's here. That's nice. Uh, so we've got to get up to this door here. He's inside this room currently. We could go to here and maybe lure him into this room with the light. That seems unlikely. Not really quite sure... Uh, 
Nope, he just has come out. I think he's heard the door close behind him and spooked on it. I think that's exactly what happened then. See me. What if I just like grabbed his tail and like tied him? You know what I mean? Like just tied him up to something. <clears throat> Pondering his life choices, yeah. Grabbing a tiger by the tail. I think it does say that, yeah. Well, there's a skull here with sunglasses on. I may be dead. See, now I can't really tell if he's outside or in the ceiling again. He's uh, inside. I think I'm about to die. <laughs> Apparently, not quite. dead. Yeah, he's seen me. Oh? I think he just went up a vent. Somewhere. Oh, there. Um, okay, so what are we looking at on the map here? So we've got a couple of rooms down this way. Morley's key card is like kind of right behind us. So let's just keep checking rooms. Sphirna, thank you. He does sort of he does sort of have a have an idea of where I am, it seems. Ugh. Oh, the stretching is so good. Ugh. Stay loose. Okay. 
Hmm? A, a sensor. Can we... We can't build anything right now, can we? Oh, we can make a med kit. The alien will understand if I make a med kit, right? Can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. Okay. Unsure if he's in or out of the vents. There is a vent here. Quiet down, Ripley. Goodness gracious. Ooh, blasting caps. Definitely want those. I think there was ammo in there as well. Oh. I uh, didn't mean to hit the old C button there. <laughs> bit of a jump, bit of a jump. I might be dead. I think so, yeah. I think we, uh, I think we spooked each other there. Can y'all play a music when he comes out the vent so I know? <laughs> hey game, can you hold my hand? Just Can this fucking trash get the fuck out of my way too? Fuck me. I'm trying to hide here. There's room for one. Garbage can. It was so I was I was I was standing in the doorway and I was like. Are those footsteps? Because they sounded like they were on my um, my right side. Because I thought it was going to come from here, and it also sounded like he was above me. Oh, here's the Nostromo cooking area. Ah, shit. Right, we may be dead here. Mr. Uh, yeah, he is very much like um, old Mr. X, isn't he thumping around? He's like, he like, seems to slowly home in on where you are as well. Oh my goodness. He, either he, he, he just entered or exited event. Uh. I think he's back on the ground again. No? I can't fucking tell. 
where he's at. Sounds like someone dribbling a basketball. Alright, he's gonna come around the corner here. Oh, I'm dead. Go away. Shoo. Uh, okay. <laughs> now that now that I am thoroughly spooked. Um, so he's gone into this room. Yeah, I'm like, hello? How am I still alive? Yeah, no kidding. Where was the safe? It was like all the way back here. I should have, what I should have done was saved once I activated the alien. Because if I die, I do have to like go all the way back around here. Slam the freaking door. He's like right outside that right door. I may... I may have fucked up by hiding in here. <laughs> Look at him out there. Oh, he's a bit clumsy with the tail, isn't he? I think I'm fucked. My god. <laughs> I'm so... Very, very lucky that they make him just slightly stupid. <laughs> I'd be dead. So... What is that? Oh, I guess I don't need to look at anything. I guess I just learned that it's over here. 26, 29. Maybe I should write those numbers down. Do you think it'll hold my hand for that? Let me write them down. It'll probably hold my hand for that. But I don't want to have to come back here. I think I'm screwed now. Just realized I went the complete freaking wrong way.
Alright. Thank freaking God. Not so much for that part, though. Why are his feet so slappy and wet? <laughs> splat, splat, splat. The, that was a... That was a save. We hear me pick up that piece of paper. Yeah, he was. <laughs> it may come as some surprise, but I am slightly reticent to enter these, um... ...tunnels. Okay, we can't get in that red door. Wait, that... Okay. Okay, so I'm glad I looked at the rooms. Good to know. Not good to know. Shit. Just made a realization. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, we knew he's in... It was A26, A29, and C... Uh, something. I'm assuming it'll be uh, this or this. It does seem to be... Oh, well, not really. There he was. Did I want to do that? Oh, I might be dead. Yeah. What, is he just breathing on me right now?
what, 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 was he, what, but for real though, was he in here and didn't see me? Like, did he just like turn away from me? Cause he, I mean, I swear to God, I heard him in my left ear. I think I'm dead. I, I'm going to just say, <laughs> I'm just going to be saying, I think I'm dead a lot. That door is open. <laughs> oh, no one's in there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No one's in here. Okay, A26 was a freaking bust. Damn it. Uh, there was a... Oh, this is a map. Right, right, right. Yeah, he did say that. He did. Ugh. All right, well, I need to get to A29. I should have... Ugh, so close, wasn't I? Hmm. Nope, nope. Uh, don't tell me. Okay. I dropped a contact lens, guys. It's not funny anymore. I refuse to work. Yeah, I'm just going to keep saying, oh, this is it, guys. <laughs> I think I'm dead. Apparently, it's working out so far. I might as well just follow him, yeah? I'm out jinxed. He's just so what he's doing now is just like marauding outside of A29.
Hello, everyone. Close and open door slowly, please. Please. Does the alien dislike cold? Is that what is that is wasn't that a thing or did it was it the heat? I forget. Didn't it like dislike some sort of specific I think he just went... Okay, he just went into a vent and then came back out. It's like having an upstairs neighbor. I think he's in the vents again. down up there. Okay, so we found Morley. Uh, I'm not really... I, I mean, I could probably, like, search the rest of these and probably find a key card or whatever, an ID card. Um, honestly, screw that. Uh, there was a... Um, an override down here, which would be very nice to get to. But I'm not sure we have that kind of option right now. This room I haven't been in yet, so. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, all 
right. Uh, best thing I think would be to try and get to the s save again. Damn it. I just fucked up. That is frustrating. Well, guys. It was either that or we made it, but we didn't make it. Um, good news is that that was just about time, wasn't it? So uh, let's load the current save. <sighs> what a shame. Alright, so... Ouch. So what we have to do is we have to f get back to old Morley. We'll try and come down this way next time and see if there's another way. And then we can just get straight into A29 and we know a route now and then we can just go right back. So... Um, damn. But you know what? We almost made it. I am going to go ahead and quit that game. Wow. What a great time. That was fun. That was a spooky time. Uh, let's just go over to the chatting screen. Oh. I broke the, um, I broke the thing, but that's fine. Goodness gracious. What a fun time though, huh? I had a good, I had a good time. He does help me wrap up on time. I was kind of like, I was looking at the time and I was like, all right, I have to like get to a save point or I have to, um, I have to like make a dash. I have to make a move no matter what. So thanks everyone for hanging out. That was a really fun time and a really good stream. Uh, that's a, excuse me. That's a really good game. Um, it's spooky. It's not like, I'm not like dying or anything. But I'm having a good time. And it, it's more of a puzzle game, isn't it? Um, but it's fun. Um, but uh, there And there will be more of it. There will be more of it next Wednesday. So we'll just keep going uh, until we're done with it. And um, that's my Wednesday streams. A lot of tension. Yeah, lots and lots of tension. It was nice to actually have the alien around. Um, so far, it's been a lot of, like, not seeing it. And dealing with other stuff um but it, it's nice to have the alien around and like actually be escaping from him um so yes more of this on next wednesday at 6 p.m uh, i will be back of course on saturday at uh 5 uh, p.m um with the adventure of link so um i'm really enjoying the adventure of link and we're making progress every time I don't know how far we are into the game. I don't really want to know because I'm enjoying it. And we'll we'll get there. We're making progress, um, and we're we're doing a great job. Um, tomorrow is is Thursday, uh, and that means that John Mork is streaming at six p.m. He just started the Dark Pictures Man of Medan, and um, that's been a lot of fun. It's interesting. Uh, lots of um, of choosiness, lots of tension, lots of spooky crime, not crime solving, puzzle solving, finding out what happened to this, this dead ship. Very cool. Uh, and, uh, I'm, I'm sure we're going to get some big spooks next time. Going to be real spooky time. Um, just because this, the last time was all sort of tension building or set, set dressing. And now, now we get into the spooky stuff. Um, Hopefully everyone starts dying. Probably you will you will be killing people, I'm guessing, sooner or later. Um, after that, Friday, 5 p.m. Dinshu, Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Man, I was Jones in. I was like, I, I hit Monday, and I was like, because he skipped last week. I hit Monday, and I was like, oh man, I gotta watch the VOD, but there was no VOD to watch, sadly. So I'm excited to see what happens in this next one. Um, been been Jones in for that. I love the Celasta. Um, and I can't wait to see more. Saturday, of course, is me, Adventure of Link. Sunday is, uh, Sphirna, 5 p.m. 
um, with Metopia. I freaking love Metopia. The game has just been like flipped on its head, and there's so much there's so much depth and so much interesting stuff going on now. We've got two parties, or well, we've got we've only got one party, but um, uh, uh, Mork and, and Din and I are currently rotting in in hell. And um, Serena and and Jub and Geek are, are all running off and uh, having island vacations and and trips to the coffee shop and um, having a great time. So uh, I can't wait to see how how it goes when we're all reunited. <laughs> but no, seriously, I really love Metopia and I'm excited every Sunday. I can't wait to watch it. Um, Monday, 5 p.m. Dinshu Neo Two. Boy, uh, some big bosses and um, some big wins. Um, Season one castle is better. Yeah, it was. Not gonna lie, no bias or anything. I'm just saying, season one castle is pretty good. Neo two is really good. It's a it's a huge improvement, I think, on the first one. Um, and man, some of those bosses really good. Um, that brings us to Tuesday, six p.m. John Mork, more more Man of Medan. Um, I assume I assume he won't be done with it. He might be done with it. Um. And if he's done with it, boy, there will be something else going on. So there will be a little bit of uh, Resident Evil going on. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, I assume he'll be done with Man of the Dan in this next one. I don't. I don't see it going too long, too much longer than two streams. So um, either way, Resident Evil is coming up, and I am super excited to watch them play. Uh, Sphirna is joining him, of course. Watch, jo watch, watch Mork and Sphirna play. Um, uh, Resident Evil 6, because, man, they were good in Resident Evil 5, so one of my favorite streams. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, that brings us back to Wednesday. Of course, more Alien Isolation is on its way. So that is it for me, everyone. Thank you very much. Please remember to save your games and um, hide under beds and um, in cupboards and everything, and then um, jump out just in time to get eaten. So, perfect. Uh, I will see you all in the Discord. I will see you all later. Have a good night. And um, we'll do more later. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.